how to make a DVD of an iPhoto slideshow. Sometimes when we get our iPhoto slideshow completed, we want to share this with others. And sometimes we want to give it in, as a DVD so that they could play it in a DVD player of their own. The first step in doing this is to export your completed iPhoto slideshow as a movie so then it could be made into a DVD. So once your slideshow is exactly the way you want it, you go to the bottom of your iPhoto slideshow and you click on the export button. You can choose one of these methods. I generally go to custom export and then from custom export you enter this information. So to begin with you need to give it a name for this particular uh, movie that you're doing. Pay attention to where it's saving. Now I generally change this to go into my movies because this is creating a movie I generally want it in my movies folder. And notice it's making it into a QuickTime movie. And at this point I can go to save and it will start this process of creating a movie. The creation of the movie is not an instantaneous process. You'll let, have to let it work for just a little bit to um, create the movie itself. Now when it's done, I can go locate my completed movie by going into my finder. And because I told it to put it in my movies folder, I could go to movies and then I should see my movie from there. If I open this up, because I made it into a QuickTime movie, it's going to open the QuickTime software and allow me to play it from here. So again, this is a, a movie that's someone wouldn't need an iPhoto um, software to be able to view this now. They would just need QuickTime to be able to view it. Now, this still doesn't get us into a DVD. There's another step to that process. To make it into a DVD, you need the software called Burn. And if I go to my applications, in my Finder window, I'll go to my applications, and um, generally in the view that I am in, they're in alphabetical order, and I could look and see if I had Burn installed. Now I know that I installed this, so it's there. If you could also go up into your um, search window and type burn in here to see if um, that happened to be installed already. The technicians knew that we might be wanting this particular software so they put it out in our self-service. Now self-service is a way for our technicians and Bill to be able to share um, printer drivers and software with us without having to, to go to each machine. So if I'm in my applications of my finder window and I scroll down to find self-service, I can double click on that to open it up. And then from there you're going to get to a login screen and I apologize mine's already logged in. Um, on the login screen you use your same login as you log into your computer. So I put in my you know Hillcat and my password and it gets me into the self-service. Now on the self-serve applications along the right hand side self-serve applications are a variety of different um, yours may not look exactly like mine. They can change between even between buildings, right? But you should see one that says install burn. And then you would simply click install on here and it would install that burn software for you. Now if at any point it asks you for an administrator password, um, that's simply again the um, password that you use to get into your machine. Every teacher is the administrator of their own machine so they can um, install software like this. Side note here, if you cannot get into self-service, your password isn't working, um, please contact your technician in your building. They may need to reset your self-service password. And another side note, you can go Google burn um, DVD software and you can find this on the internet as well and you can download it from there wherever you would feel most comfortable doing that. So I'm going to close my self-service as I'm done with that and I'm actually going to locate my burn software and open that up so you can see what that looks like. So 
the Burn software allows you to make a data disk, an audio disk, a video, or a copy of a um, CD or DVD. So I want to make a video, so I want to make sure that I have video selected at the top. And then I'm going to give this a name. And I want to make sure over here that this is also saying DVD video. From here I want to add the movie file that I want burned into a DVD. So I'm going to hit the plus sign and this is going to take me out into my finder window and I just have to remember where this is saved so if I go into my movies and I remembered that I called this North Carolina so I'm going to select that and I'm going to choose open now I will always say this so don't get concerned it says one incompatible file would you like to convert that file to MPG so all you have to do is click the convert button and then it's asking you where you want to save this MPG now you could put it on your desktop or because it's already going into your movies folder that's fine too so I can just click choose and it's going to go through the process of converting this to an MPG. Once the conversion process is complete, you should see that file listed as an MPG in your burn software. Now from this point, you could select burn. However, in my case, I, don't, I have not entered a DVD into my DVD drive, so it wouldn't work for me, but I would need to enter a DVD into the drive and then I could hit burn and it would work through its process of creating the DVD. Keep in mind that all of this is not a two second process. You have to allow movies to be created and the same with burning. So be patient as you, you know, hit burn. It's going to take a little bit of time. Not that it's going to take you forever, but it's not something that, oh, in between classes, I'm going to quick make this into a DVD so that I can um, share it with my students. You need to give yourself a little more time for that. I have used the same software to create DVDs from iMovie as well and it's the same kind of a process where you need to export the iMovie as um, a QuickTime movie and then as you bring it into your burn software it's going to convert it into an MPG and then it's going to um, burn your movie for you so again this doesn't have to be just used with iPhoto and once you have the burn software installed you can use it repeatedly on your computer Good luck and I hope you make some fun DVDs.